All right. So today we are going to make a bowl hair tie. So we need a large elastic that we can fold and still have a decent size on both sides. Wire. Some kind of beads. I'm using buttons. Needle and thread and pliers. I also have a pair of scissors here, but you don't necessarily need them. So we're going to take this and fold it right in the middle and then we're going to poke our wire through it. You want to try and do this carefully, you don't want to bend your wire too much. But you want to poke it through both sides. Try and do this without bending it because that will make it weaker. Mm -hmm. I'm going to try and adjust that because I don't think that was quite the middle. You want to try and be a little accurate because that will help with the final look. So I'm going to make sure and adjust that. And right about there. <laughs> it's pretty hard. Don't worry. You can make this elastic by just taking some regular elastic and wrapping fabric or yarn around it. Just kind of like how we made the scrunchie, but a little bit different. So now I'm going to wrap the elastic with the wire to try and make it sturdy. This is going to be the middle point of our bobble, and we want it to stay together. You going to do it hard. You want to do it really, really tight. You can also weave it to make a different pattern, but I'm not going to worry about that today. I am just trying to get a nice, firm grip all the way around. Some of the wire is sticking up, and I would like to make sure no wire sticks up because that will get caught in your hair and not be very pleasant. So, you want to do it nice and tight, moving up and down until you've gotten as much of the middle of your elastic covered as you want. You can also use a sheet of tin to make it smooth if you want, but I'm not doing that. I'm being a little bit lazy, admittedly. So I'm going to cut it with about an inch to fold over, and I'm going to push this into the middle of the wires to hold it in place. This is a little bit difficult because I'm trying, obviously, to do something <laughs> that it doesn't necessarily want to do. Remember, you can use your pliers to fold down any pieces you like. I'm also going to use it to flatten this middle part a little bit, because I feel like it works better when it's flat. So I'm going to push these together, flatten everything out, and now the next part this is to sew on our buttons. So obviously you're going to take them and you're going to sew them on on either end of your elastic. You want to sew them on nice and tight because they're going to be what's holding this elastic into your hair. So you're going to sew through the elastic probably eight or ten times. Eight to ten times through each hole. That will give you lots of hold, and also build up this cute little X mark in the middle of your buttons, which looks really nice for Halloween. Kind of a spooky, like, doll vibe, I guess. So that's what we're going for, and we're going to try and keep this nice and neat just on the end of our bobble. I'm going to do the same thing using the white button, but I'm going to use black thread 
so that we have contrasting colors either way just you know more of an effect thing oh, I kind of messed up my X but that's okay it just needs to hold really it doesn't necessarily need to be perfect none of these are gonna be perfect because perfection is overrated and that's not what we're going for so <laughs> just as I say that I mess up of course so I'm gonna pull this up fix that a little bit push this down and I'm going to tie it off on the back I'm going to go through some of these threads so that I create a loop that I'm going to put my needle through and I'll do that three times because I get paranoid <laughs> and I feel like three is a good number for this one two and three so now that I've done that I am going to snip the end and I am going to pull some black thread off of right here Oh, that's not enough black thread. Off of there. Off my sewing machine. Because I was using black thread for... Actually, for a few things I've been making in the last week or so. So, I'm going to thread my needle. I have easy thread needles, which is nice. You don't need them, but... If you have a hard time threading needles, then they're useful. They basically just give you a wider eye so that you can pull the thread through easier. But I use either kinds at different times of the day normally. I find the wider thread is, the easy thread ones are easier, you know, at night or early in the morning when you have to do something quickly. But I like the regular needles for anything that's a uh, tight-knit fabric that will show holes because <clears throat> they leave less of a hole when you use the regular needles because they don't have as wide of backs. So now I'm going to sew on this button trying to keep it again around the middle I'm going to sew it on nice and tight. So once this is all sewn on, that will be basically the end. We'll do the same thing we did to the black one, to this white one. And you'll have yourself a little cute bobblehead piece for putting your hair up in a ponytail or in a bun or anything like that. You know, some people, they just wear their hair up all the time. And, you know, when you only have certain things to put your hair up with, it gets really boring, and you just need to spice it up sometimes. So, that's what we're doing today. We're spicing up our hairstyles by making new things that we can put our hair up with. So even if we're, like, doing the same actual, like, hairstyle, at least it looks different because it's not just a ponytail with a rubber band or something. It's a ponytail with a cute bobble or a scrunchie or whatever else you wanted to put it up with. So I'm just going to cut those and then it basically works like any other bobble. Like that. And that's it.